Google business profiles are probably, I would say, one of the best tools in your arsenal if you're a business owner. And in the last year, Google has made a ton of changes to business profiles. In fact, uh, they even changed the name to Google Business Profile. It used to be called Google My Business. Now it's called Google Business Profile. And it was managed through a dashboard. You could go in and make some changes. It was very, very easy to navigate. Uh, then they changed everything. And now your Google business profile is managed on search. It's a little bit more cumbersome, harder to find. Uh, and so I thought I would make this video so that if you have a Google business profile and you're wondering how to find it and make some changes to it, uh, this is this video is for you. Now we're going to start in Google Chrome. I figure Google Chrome is probably the best tool to be able to use to manage a Google product. So I'm just going to use Google Chrome in this instance. Uh, one thing that I will tell you, this is the most important step in order to find your Google business profile. You have to be logged into the account that manages that Google business profile. So if you're logged into maybe like a work account or a school account, or maybe one of your, one of your, one of your kids' accounts, you're probably not going to be able to find it. Okay. So we're going to open up Google business profile. I'm just going to search my name. And if we, if you see this pop up right here, this means that you are indeed a manager of that Google business profile. Now, if you're not seeing this and your business is up here, you're seeing it off to the, off to the right over here. It means you're not in the right profile. So make sure you're logged into the right profile over here so that you can edit and make changes to your Google business profile. So a couple of things, uh, really super important edit your profile. If you want to make any changes to your contact information or your location or your hours, business description, you know, holiday hours, things like that. That's where you're going to find it is right up here in the edit profile button. Read reviews, pretty self-explanatory. This is where we can actually go in and look at reviews and reply to reviews. By the way, if you're not replying to reviews, you should be replying to your reviews. Uh, messages, if you have messaging set up on your Google business, this is where they're going to be showing up right here. Now, in order to have messages active, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have, to have that uh, turned on, number one, and it's usually done through a mobile device. Uh, the next one over here, the add photo. This one's super important because Google wants you to add photos on a very regular basis. In fact, uh, down here at the bottom, you see these little these little boxes. This one tells me I haven't added a photo in 80 days. Okay, they want you to add photos. So by all means, periodically add some photos. Uh, you can change your logo and your cover photo in here as well. Now, this would be uh, considered a logo right here. I've, I've just updated my profile picture. That's my logo. Uh, the next one over is the performance. Now, this is the one that I like a lot because I'm an analytics guy. I look at the analytics and see uh, what's going on. This tells you like how many business profile interactions that you've had uh, since July, from July to December. So in this instance, I've had 15 uh, and one call. Uh, no messages, no bookings, and no or four, 14 website clicks. Okay, so we've had 15 business profile interactions. The other thing that I like to look at on here, when we go to the overview here, let's uh, let's tap performance one more time. If we scroll down here, it'll tell me how many times people viewed your business profile and where they viewed it, where they where they were looking, whether it was on search on desktop or on mobile or on maps, right here. And then the searches breakdown. It tells you how they found you right right here it tells you like what they were searching for when they saw your google business profile so i think that's super relevant information to have myself uh the advertise button that's a whole separate video that's if you want to turn your business profile into an ad and run ads on on maps and and search so we're going to cover that uh, in another video edit products so I like putting products on here. I think if you're a business owner and you have products to sell, by all means, put them on here. I work with a lot of real estate agents and I encourage them to go in and put in products and, and have their actual listings be their product. So the product name would be the address of the listing. You can even add categories and say like current listings or sold listings. We can uh, add a product price. We can put in the description. And look at that. We can even do a call to action and drive traffic to your website to see more information. So edit, edit products, super easy uh, to use. Edit services, pretty self-explanatory if you want to go in and change your marketing category, your primary category. Uh, and your services, that's where you're going to see this right here. Uh, booking. Now, I don't have a booking calendar set up. 
is if you, so if you have a like a, a Calendly or a booking calendar, appointment calendar set up on here, you can actually set that up through here. Calls, this is gonna tell you like, if you have your call history, uh, it's gonna tell you, it's gonna show you the numbers that actually called you from your, <laughs> from your Google business. I think that's really good information to have. I wanna know who's calling me, how many times they're calling me. And then of course, Q and A, this, these are questions that you can ask, frequently asked questions. Uh, they're used periodically, but a lot of people don't seem to haven't, you know, haven't really taken off on the Q and a, honestly, uh, add update. Now these, this Google calls and add an update as a post. So they want you, Google wants you to post relevant content, relevant information on your Google business profile on a reg regular basis. Now these updates right here can be one of three things. You can add a, an actual post, you can add an offer, or you can add an event. Okay. Now the, the shelf life of these posts, is pretty small. I think it's 14 days, maybe maybe a little longer now, but I, last I checked, it was, I think 14 days, which means every 14 days you have to add some new content. Now the content that you're posting here would be the same that you would post on say like a Facebook business page, or maybe your Instagram business, maybe some infographics, things like that. Okay. And then uh, if you have an event, of course, you can add your event on here too. Those posts show up right down here at the bottom of your Google business profile. Okay. So that's kind of where your posts show up. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you, actually, no, I got two more things to show you. First thing, review. So this is your review link. If you want somebody, let's say you have a client and you want to send them a link to go leave you a review. This is the way to do it right here. But however, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a word of caution here because Google's fraud detection is like sky high right now. And what I found is if you request a review using this review link right here, there's a good possibility that your review could get flagged as potential fraud. Okay. So here's the way that I've been telling a lot of my clients to do this is if you tap on your map over here, it's going to bring up your Google business profile in maps. Okay. Uh, down here at the bottom, you're going to see this share button. We're going to copy that link. We're going to send our clients to our Google maps location instead. Now, what this means is they're going to open it up. They're going to go right to maps. It's they're going to have to, from here, click on your reviews and then write a review. Okay. It's a little bit more labor intensive, maybe not quite as easy for some people to do, but I think if you, if you prompt them to say like, Hey, this is going to open in maps, click on my reviews and you'll see a button that says write a review. Okay. So that's going to increase the likelihood of that review actually showing up on your profile. Now there's another way to do it that actually increases your odds a little bit more is if you have your clients who want to leave you a review, actually search you on Google. So they open up a Google window, they search out your business, they find your business, and then they click on the review link and write a review. And that's, a, that's even more labor intensive. Uh, first, they have to be able to find you on Google Maps, then they have to find your reviews, and then they have to write you a review. Um, another thing too that I've found actually increases your odds is adding a photo However, this add photo option is not available on a mobile device. So they're going to have to do it on a desktop device instead. Okay. So that's Google business profile. There is one more thing I wanted to show you in this Google business profile, and that's adding a manager. They kind of buried it in here where you can't really seem to locate it all that easy. And it's right here under business profile settings. And here's our managers. So if you want to add a manager or add a uh, an, add another owner, somebody else who can help you manage your Google business profile, tap the add button. You put in their email address, make them either an owner or a manager. I highly recommend just making them a manager so that they can't remove you later on. Okay. Uh, so that's un under right under this little hamburger business profile settings. I hope that helps. I hope that answered all of your questions when it comes to managing your Google business profile on search. If there's any questions that weren't answered in this video, hit them up in the chat down below and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. Otherwise have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.